at these two together. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a beautiful clutch Ooh, too. Wow. Look at that clutch. Why don't you just get pepper spray and spray it in your mouth? Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. Let's jump right into it with this little beautiful glooper there and hopefully some eggs. Yes, look at this. I absolutely adore these snakes right here. And this is a beautiful clutch. How am I gonna get mama off without rolling these eggs all over the place? I'm gonna try to take these out to where she doesn't roll them on me. Come on mama, you gotta let me get these eggs. There you go, there you go. <laughs> Good job, Mama. Of course, these are greenish rat snakes right here. These guys are native to Florida, and I've always loved these guys. And these are actually het for albinos right here. And look at how beautiful that animal is right there. I just think it's incredible. And they really vary a lot. I mean, this is also a greenish rat that has that little bit more of that striping down it. And that is the dad of this clutch right here. And again, it looks like a really nice clutch. Because you kind of roll things around, I'll go ahead and candle these just to make sure that everything's okay but they certainly look like they're in pretty good shape too. A few of them are stuck together, a few of them are a little bit separate, and the ones that are kind of separate are the ones that we're gonna go ahead and candle just to make sure, but nevertheless, it's a good way to start the day. Two, four, six, eight, nine eggs. I love it. We have a few Kluber clutches. We are gonna be pulling some ball python clutches and who knows what else today. Let's have an amazing day together. Next up is actually a head black motley scaleless bred to an annery head motley scaleless. Ooh, this is one of those old females Emails, and I've talked about this old group and how the fertility is usually garbage and sure enough this clutch isn't very good That's okay, mom. You look really good yeah, And I always check the mamas just to make sure that they're in good shape No stuck eggs and and again, we're on a pretty good run right now I don't want to jinx myself, but we haven't had too much egg binding I think we only had those two females both passed which is really good And then of course what happened with Lucy and she passed so this year We don't have any that are stuck which is really really good regardless. It looks like a terrible clutch We got one two three good eggs Three bad eggs. That's just the way it goes. Uh, one more Kaluber clutch to pull. Last clutch, and I'm actually pretty excited about this one. This is actually a het plasma scaleless corn snake and the plasma is a lavender diffused or a lavender blood red type corn and it's actually bred to a hypo pet plasma scaleless. So there's some potential for some plasma scaleless. Mom, you did good. That is a beautiful clutch of eggs. There's not a ton of eggs in here, but they look really good. We'll go ahead and get the shed out, get water in as always, get mama back in, settled in. She should get back onto food here within the next week or so, and then we'll try the double clutch. And our first double clutches are actually due to lay here in the next week or so. So as we're finishing up the first clutches, second clutches are already on their way, which is pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and take these eggs, get them in an egg box and see what we have. We have two, four, six, eight eggs, no slugs. Hey, I'll take that every day. Again, this is a pretty exciting clutch. I mean, the odds are kind of long, but hopefully we'll have some plasma scalas. That would be amazing. And that concludes the colubrids for the day, but we definitely still have to collect some ball python eggs. Super exciting, guys. We actually have our first gargoyle gecko baby hatching. Ooh, doggy. I love gargoyle geckos. We've been raising up some really incredible ones. So we're going to produce a bunch this year, but next year, wow, we have some ripper that are coming up, but this little baby should be out of the egg anytime. Oh my God, that's amazing. Let's go over to the Reptarium. I'll show you a couple of our holdbacks from last year that are unbelievable. We actually have a Deadpool line and a Dracula line in here from Tiki's Gecko. I think he has some of the best gargoyle geckos out there. There's a few other places that are amazing as well, but I've gotten these from him and I couldn't be more happier. Take a look at this one right here. This is actually the Dracula line right here. Oh doggy, that thing is amazing. And this one is fired down right now. So when it's fired up it is so much better oh and right down here take a look at this it's the same thing here this Deadpool line is unbelievably beautiful but the truth is when it's fired up it's way nicer than even that but look at these two together oh my gosh I think Tiki's geckos has some of the best geckos out there when it comes to gargoyles and a bunch of other stuff as well and I'm just really happy that we're able to have these two animals represented over here at the Reptarium and next year these both will be breeders so hoo <laughs> doggy those things are ridiculous holy cow Jessica what happened oh my Boy, gosh they had a little gecko explosion it looks like <laughs> oh my gosh these things literally just in the last 24 hours all of these geckos started hatching we had a couple geckos hatch out before I mean literally like four or something like that the whole year now all of a sudden Wham! And oh my gosh, some of these look amazing, huh? Yeah, they all look really good. And this is just the start. Oh I mean, yeah, this is like the first big hatch day. It's, and it's not even a big hatch day, really. <laughs> yeah, this is just a kind of mid-sized hatch day, but it is game on. So for those of you that are interested,
interested in new geckos, you're about to see a bunch from. Oh my gosh, what do we have here? This one here looks really cool. Looks like a little, little raptor. This here is the sibling to that little raptor there. This also looks like a raptor, but it doesn't have patternless. Okay. It's um, gonna be a white and yellow, I believe as well. And there are a whole bunch of babies in this one, so I have a feeling as soon as we open it up, it's gonna be all over yeah, the place. Yeah, they're gonna go everywhere. <laughs> okay, here they are. Look at that, a bunch of super oh snows. God. This Real one here. Wow, look at that. Is that just a snow bold? Is Ooh. that what that is? It's gonna be a bold snow eclipse. A bold snow eclipse. Wow, mm -hmm. that thing is beautiful. Next up here, what do we have? Are these we got a couple super snows there. Just normal super snows? I think so. There might be one of them that's an eclipse because it's weird to get two super snows, unless uh, we did a super snow to super snow. Right, and then it's possible, yeah. right? I love these ones with that really wide pattern there. So yeah. what, what do you think that one is? It's probably a hypo snow or something, but it's, it's got a really nice, clean, clean pattern to it. And these are always one of my favorites, the ones that are almost like pure white when they're babies. I don't know what's going on. So what, what makes that like that? So this is probably a Tremper albino super snow, but it could be a super raptor. We'll have to wait and see on these ones just to see if any more like white continues to form. Gotcha, now could it be white and yellow too or no? It could be, okay. yeah. These ones are just, re it's really hard to tell exactly what they are when they're babies. Gotta wait a couple weeks till the pattern starts coming in them. The last little leopard geckos that we're gonna show you today are these guys here. Oh my gosh, that thing is cool. It's really dark. It's yeah, this is from our dark line. Oh, this, yeah. that's, that makes sense, the so dark line. Imagine snow eclipse but it's got that nice melanistic look to it and of course that dark line is something that we've been working on for a while just to see what's going on in a lot of really cool babies including this one have hatched out wow that's amazing and then of course all those right there are coming out too wow there's some beautiful patterns for sure and again this is just the beginning I mean there are so many amazing geckos that are gonna hatch so let me know in the comments if you guys want to see the kind of hatch as they go and we can continue to highlight like we just did but uh it's gonna be an amazing year my two big Surinam toads I got the other day have settled in really well. I think I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get them to eat. So far, they haven't eaten. Their names are Elle and Peggy, by the way, from, uh, yes, from Married with Children. Let's see if these guys will eat. <laughs> yep, they ate. Unbelievable. I'm so happy. They were all eating crickets, so hopefully they'll eat something bigger as they go on. I'm just happy that they've settled into the Reptarium now. They are ridiculously cool. Back in the dungeon, which means more ball python eggs. I could get really used to this, I'll be honest with you. And we're not even halfway through production yet, so we have a lot of eggs to go. What do we have today, Kelsey? First up is a cinnamon bread to an enchi pin banana. All right. Oh, that's a big girl, too. Take a look at her. Ooh, doggy, let's see what she's got in there. Okay, mama, oh, it's a beautiful clutch, Ooh, too. Wow. Look at that clutch, one little slugger. Oh, mom, what did you do? You ruined that beautiful clutch with one little egg. Holy moly, that's a huge clutch of eggs. You got it? Oh, oh my I think God. so. <laughs> wow, that is, that is, that does not fit. <laughs> oh my God, we're gonna need a bigger box. We're gonna need a bigger box. Wow, I, I got to imagine that's going to be our biggest clutch of the year, you think? It looks like our biggest clutch of the year so okay, far. Okay, and I'm not even going to count the slug. Let's see how many eggs are in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve! Twelve, so that was the biggest clutch because we had eleven. Yes. Last year we did have thirteen, so theoretically, if you count this slug, this is our biggest clutch of thirteen, but we don't count there. Twelve really good eggs. And of course, that enchi pin banana means a lot of amazing things. Enchi and cinnamon are great. Banana and cinnamon are great. Pin and banana are great. And then you start putting them all together oh my god this is going to be a great clutch and a lot of eggs to choose from too he's over here with her favorite tortoise the tilda what is that again it's a yam or something yeah sweet potatoes sweet potato that's the first time you tried yes i just read that that's something that they might like so i figured i'd give it a try i see if she does it She likes it. <laughs> <laughs> she the whole thing yeah. Oh my gosh, she loves it. That's awesome. And she is such a cool animal. Again, we're always trying to vary up that diet, give her lots of variety, uh, things that are really good for her. So we read that they love sweet potatoes. So uh, Lori tried it again. It's like I said, Lori loves that animal. I mean, she gets so much joy every day coming and working with it. It's really awesome to see her have a connection with Matilda like that.
This next girl is actually another female that I really, really like. She's actually a flame ball python. Now there's a few types of like the fire stuff. There's the flame, there's the fire, there's the lucifer and a few other things. This particular one is what they call flame. But I remember when we first got her, I just thought she was a beautiful animal and it looks like she's got a bunch of eggs. A couple of them out real quick. So we'll take those out of there just so that she doesn't roll them around too much more. But look at that clutch of eggs. Oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> so we're gonna definitely have to candle these eggs because they're kind of all over the place. But another amazing big clutch of eggs from a female that's not that big to be honest with you. It was kind of reasonable that Cindy laid a lot because she was a huge female. This girl is probably only 16, 1700 grams. I mean, she's really not that big. I mean, she's big enough, but she's not huge. So that is a really nice clutch of eggs. How many do we have? Nine eggs. I mean, that is not bad. I remember when we used to average like six eggs a clutch. This year, seven to 10 eggs has been pretty average and with some 11 and 12 egg clutches in the mix and very few clutches under seven eggs. So really amazing, cannot wait. Again, only a few weeks away from the first eggs that we can cut. It's gonna be an exciting year. And again, we still have half the females yet to lay. So Kelsey, keep up the good work, all right? All right. We got something in and remember the people that came to visit and yeah. they sent us the hot nuts that we tried? Yeah. They weren't that hot. Well, they sent us a new package oh, and they no. wanted Eric to be involved oh. in this one and Lori as well. Okay. No, my name so, is not on that. I was literally just oh, talking about this oh stuff yesterday. Gosh. I was telling Eric about the toe of the Satan. The toe of Satan. Listen. Wasn't I just talking about this yesterday? I said I was I about won't. to buy one and then they send me it. Yeah, it's oh like, my gosh. Scary. What else that's did they send? The, what the else did they send? Dude, we gotta talk about this for a second. You guys don't understand how hot this stuff is, There's okay? There's no way I'm getting this, anywhere dude, near yeah, that. No, this no toe you are. Of Satan. No, no, you are. No, no, no. Nine million Scoville oh units. My what gosh. is that? And if I'm not, if I'm correct, I'm pretty sure jalapeno, like the spice level in Scovilles, is like maybe thirty thousand. Oh my! And how much gosh. is that? Oh, nine, nine million. million. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes, no, we're doing no, this yeah. over on Noah's channel. You can we're do doing it. it. Yeah. All four of us are doing no. this one. <laughs> One popsicle. I might lick That's it. That's okay. We'll ball we'll lick share it. it. Oh, it's we'll all lick it. It's a popsicle. It's a sucker. Yeah. It's a sucker. It's not a popsicle. Whatever. Oh Why would you do that? Why don't you just get pepper spray and spray it in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's that's not what else we got. Cooler. Ew, dude. We got nasty little worms, man. Oh, these are just like dude, you, you, spicy uh, ones? These are I spicy, know. I think. I yeah. You so want it's original. You want to open this one real quick? I'll do every package of bugs if I don't have to lick that. Nope, you have to. Larvettes. Oh, there's barbecue. Oh, Mexican spice. Cheddar cheese. Oh. <laughs> so I don't even want to yeah, that's the cheese, the Let's cheese. rip this thing open real quick. See what's <laughs> All right, in let's oh see what's in gosh. here. I'm guessing it's more hot nuts. Oh, oh god, there's a sign dude, on it. This is the this is the hot sauce they use in hot ones. Oh, the bomb hot sauce. This is those good. pepper nuts. nuts. Oh. Those are gonna be good. This is gonna oh, be a good video, man. guys. Thank you okay. for sending me Okay, uh, let me know down in the comments if you guys <laughs> want Lori and everyone to man up and us do these because we're gonna do them over on Noah's channel. Oh my gosh, it's gonna I'm be excited. awesome. Ben and Jerry, what are you doing? I tell you what, guys, it's been a fun day. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. So many good things in the next few days going on. I'm excited for the future and egg hatching and oh my God, what an amazing year it's been. I hope that you have a great day. Thank you for everything. I love you guys so much. Do me a favor, be kind to someone today and I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.